Hi there, my name is Scott Lowe. I'm a partner and co-founder of Actual Tech Media. I'm joined today by Tim Sheets, Vice President of Corporate Marketing for Falcon Store. Tim, thank you for being here today. Thanks for having me, Scott. We're here to talk about software-defined storage, a very nebulous term. <laughs> Can you give us a 30,000 foot overview for what that really means? I, absolutely, you know, there's a lot of definitions and there's no real standard in the industry right now, but for Falcon Store, we're taking a very purist view. We've been software-defined from the beginning, but to Falcon Store, it means to us that the underlying hardware, the storage environment, right, needs to be agnostic to any hardware, network, or protocol. We really need to be able to be heterogeneous, separated from the hardware, so that customers have that flexibility and the freedom. You know, I do a lot of talking around the country, and people have a lot of questions about what does software defined really mean? So they ask questions about what does the hardware need to look like? What does my application then interact with? What does that look like generally in a software defined system? Absolutely. We, you know, really what you need to do is create that abstraction layer that's above the hardware. So it's below the operating system and the application, right? But it's in front of the hardware. It's that true middleware approach, if you will, for the data services so that you're independent. You've got the flexibility and freedom. You can begin to eliminate costs, drive more flexibility and freedom within your storage infrastructure, right? Because you're abstracted from that hardware. You're no longer dependent. Now, Falcon Store takes an interesting approach with four pillars of services. Can you give us a brief overview of each one of those? Absolutely. In February of this year, we introduced FreeStore. And what we're really doing is we're creating that abstraction layer. We're virtualizing the underlying physical storage so that we can provision, deliver unified data services across your entire infrastructure, and begin to address the four really core use cases that we see customers using today, whether it's data mobility to migrate data, move data, continuity to make sure things are available, protect it, recover it, or certainly optimize it. Sounds good. Why don't we jump into one of the pillars now? Great. So Tim, FreeStore brings four pillars to the software-defined storage equation. Can we start with data mobility and talk a little bit about what's happening here with FreeStore? Absolutely. Customers today have a lot of challenges in their environments, whether it's trying to move off in a legacy array to a new array, maybe it's merging a new technology like Flash without the disruption, or maybe they're trying to add additional layers of, of continuity uh, by moving in and creating a stretch cluster, going site to site. You know, um, I think we're now seeing people, how do people move data from their location to a, a private cloud or into a hosted cloud facility. And ultimately, we're going to see people having challenges going cloud to cloud as you know, SLAs change and they want to change providers. How are they going to address that? And that's pretty key. This, this whole idea of cloud is becoming important to people, but they don't know how to leverage it yet, and they want to do it in a way that's sort of synonymous with what they're already doing in the data center. That, that's right. You know, with, with FreeStore, right, we talk about this, the concept of intelligent abstraction, right, where we are abstracting above the hardware to create you know, a pool of storage. Right? And that's what we're doing with FreeStore. We use our virtualization technology to create that pool. Not only does that allow us the ability to more efficiently use the underlying storage, but you now take things like hardware type, hardware brand, connectivity, iSCSI, fiber channel, SEO, out of, the, out of the equation, right? Each one of those paradigms can be very expensive. And now you're breaking those chains or removing you know, the, the limitations people have and giving them the flexibility to move things around as they need them, as it makes sense to their business, their budgets, and their, and their requirements. You know, another challenge people have is around the supporting both physical and virtual machines with the same Absolutely. storage, especially with a lot right. of the emerging storage systems will only support virtual. Can you talk about how FreeStore handles right. that? You know, one of the things that I think sets Falcon Store apart with FreeStore is the fact that we can, with a single platform, address physical, virtual, different types of storage, different brands of storage. You know, when I say different types, I'm talking not only, as I mentioned, protocols, but now how do you use flash, high performance spindles, low cost spindles, tape, and ultimately cloud in a single platform with a single set of tools versus tool by tool, array by array, protocol by protocol. Now we can become a lot more, uh, excuse me, now we can become a lot less complex begin to lower the cost because now you're doing it in one layer versus license by license, array by array for the capabilities. Let's take, for example, our ability to drive mobility and migration. The fact that we can say, hey, I can help you move from you know, uh, flavor A, brand A of storage to brand B of storage, right? we give you the tools to do that. For example, if a customer has legacy name brand, one of the top three storage vendors in their environment, and they want to put in a new flash array from another vendor, do either vendor give them the tools to seamlessly migrate the data from one platform to the other no. without disrupting? That's right. Now you can do that. 
or hey, you know what, now I want to say I want to create a stretch cluster or a multi-node cluster. Typically, you have to buy the hardware and all the software and all the capabilities from a single vendor. It gets expensive into the hundreds of thousands of millions of dollars. If I could tell you that you can now leverage the existing stores that you already have in your environment and get similar performance and availability, now it's less complex, a lot less costly, and you can take that investment in, and put it somewhere else for innovation. The other thing that people talk about a lot is, is WAN bandwidth. It's expensive and it can be impactful. What does FreeStore do in a stretch cluster type scenario to help minimize the impact of, the, of that uh, transfer? <laughs> Great question, and it's actually more than just stretch. It's also when we're trying to move from you know, a, a private facility to a hosted facility you know, and site to site. You know, we have built into our technology, and, and this has been patented since, what, I believe 2011, uh, you know, something we call Microscan. And we are actually WAN optimized when we replicate the data across the wire. WAN replication can be one of the most expensive costs in an entire data center. So we're not only optimizing you there, but now we're taking out a lot of those limitations and restraints of disparate hardware of moving to P to any P, right? Or, or even going from physical and converting it to virtual on the fly. So when you're going in to a, a cloud scenario, you're already virtualized, you're already ready to go. And you're supporting a future use case for a lot of people, which is cloud to cloud. You know, that, that, that's right. You know, there a lot of the connectors and things in the industry. We're seeing open source, open stack, a, a number of things. You know, Gluster, as those things are being, you know, figured out and defined, we're future-proofing it because we're going to have the connectors for you to be able to move forward, right? How do we help people modernize what they have and give them a path forward? And really, that's what our data ability is all about. Tim, where can people go to learn more about FreeStore and data mobility? Well, great question. Uh, certainly, they can visit us on our website at www.falconstore.com forward slash FreeStore, and everything they need to know is right there. Tim, thank you for the overview on data mobility with FreeStore. Thanks very much, Scott. It's a pleasure to be here. And thank you for watching. This is Scott Lowe with Actual Tech Media.